My name is Rodesha Floyd, and I'm a junior at Columbia College studying sociology and education. I was born and raised in Tampa, Florida, which is not only the place where I'm shooting this video, but it is also where I've been working for a few years now as a community organizer. It is my work as a community organizer in Tampa that directly informed the scope of my interview study and is the reason I wanted to do it in the first place. Tampa protest, how the community understands social change was designed to examine how black people, ordinary black people understand and feel about social change given the protests and uprisings of summer 2020. A summer when one in two black people were unemployed due to the pandemic and at a pause in order to watch not only George Floyd be murdered, but Ahmaud Aubrey, Breonna Taylor, Rayshard Brooks, Tony McDade, and those are just a few names. In Tampa, protesters continued to fill the streets all summer and were brutalized by police all summer. Things really escalated on May 30th when 40 businesses were looted and burned in what I am calling Tampa's first modern day uprising. It happened in a historically black and poor neighborhood, so I was interested in capturing the responses and reactions of those living directly there. From my interviews with over 40 black people, which I conducted from July to September, I conclude that this summer was the most radicalizing uprising for black liberation in history. Never at a time before would a call like defund the police have galvanized as much support as it did this year. In fact, seasoned organizers mentioned during the interviews a time when Black Lives Matter was a controversial call. All my respondents, all 40 of them, agreed with this call. And so I conclude that this summer was the most radicalizing uprising for Black liberation. However, although this time might have felt different, and this might have been the first historic uprising a lot of my respondents were living through, so the possibility for change felt real, they all acknowledged that real change takes time and so really did not feel like this summer of protest had really led to any real change. And that brings me to my last point, which is that the history of the United States has been the history of uprisings for black liberation. So living through a uprising for black people in particular, it may feel historic at one level, but at the same time, we don't actually see the changes that we expect day in and day out. So using Du Bois double consciousness, this makes real change, equality for black people, the possibility of being black and American and be treated as such an impossibility. And it is that way every year, uh, another historic uprising happens and black liberation is not achieved. 